Greetings and welcome to Pixel Shopkeeper. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have to admit, on first looking at this game, I thought, okay, I'll probably play this for five minutes and, and hate it. And even though it kind of looks like some other games, but I was drawn in and I, I admit it, I played for two hours and I didn't even know where the time went. So I only stopped because I thought, okay, I need to play it for you guys. Um, because if you're interested in games like Reseteer, um, where you go and you get items and you sell them in your shop, this is very much like that. Now the, the beginning is a little bit slow, so do bear with me on that um, as we learn the tutorial, but soon enough you are making strategic decisions for your shop. So I want to give a big, big thank you to the developer of this game, Pixel Prototype, who just sent me the game out of the blue and said, could you play it? And I thought, well, yeah, let's give it a go. Um, I have enjoyed Reseteer in the past, so um, I was really excited to play this. So this, um, we're going to start a new game. Firstly, you can choose uh, your character. I'm going to call myself uh, Catherine. That seems like a good... Um, name for today. Uh, choose a hair color. Oh, red hair. Oh, orange hair. Oh, we should have orange hair. You can choose your skin color. I was kind of hoping for like green or purple, like Martian skin. Um, I don't want to be too pale. There we go. Outfit. Oh, look at this. We can have an orange apron. Maybe we should change the uh, the hair color. Um, but anyway, there's, there's a lot of customization that you can do uh, with your character, which is kind of nice. Um, it's about my hair color. All right, so let's create. Um, now this, I have no idea what this um, affects, but it says, congratulations, Catherine. You just graduated from Pixel University's General Storekey General Storekeepery with Basic Hero Training Course. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. What is your dream? Fortune, popularity, exploration, legacy? I, I don't know. I'll, I'll just say legacy. Sounds interesting. What what do you value most? Strength, courage, charisma, and cunning. Um, a Charisma sounds great. Choose the pet you'd prefer. Now, when I played the two hours worth, I did not even see a single pet at all. So I don't know what this um, is about. Last time I chose mysterious, but let's try fluffy because fluffies are nice. Right, done. Okay, Catherine's total loan, 100,000 gold. Um, some NPC. <laughs> Congratulations, Catherine. You're done with school. Your student loans add up to 100,000 gold. Please pay it in 16 weeks time or you will die. Uh, I don't have the money. What should I do? Open a shop or something. Okay. So all set. You are now heading to the world map. So this game has a little bit of humor in it as well. You ended up in some generic world map. Click on where the arrow is pointing to enter the forest area. Right. What? It's the dungeon selection screen. You will unlock more dungeons as you progress. For now, click on the starter dungeon to go to your first puzzle battle. So the thing about these dungeons, and I'll explain this, is that you don't actually fight anything yourself. Uh, it's more of a puzzle game, kind of like tetris -y. Uh, a little bit. Um, but that's that becomes important later on as you get uh, different bonuses in the bags that you have to carry stuff home with. Right, so it's a new dungeon type. You've ventured into a dungeon. As you go through, you auto attack enemies that will drop items that you can sell. Strength determines how hard you hit and HP is, to, is how much health you have. To fit an item into your bag, tap it to rotate it and drag it into the grid below. Right, so you just kind of click on it if you, um, so see, we kill stuff and then we must quickly put these things in our bags because we have, um, they disappear after some time. Okay, let's get this thing going. Oh no. Get these. We like boots. Boots, we have found out, are really useful. And we don't have that much left. Okay, so we're pretty full on. Because so I could move that. That still doesn't. Oh, it does. It does. Oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't fit. I was going to fit that one in there. Anyway, so uh, that's basically how you collect items. And this is your bag. Now, later on, you can purchase different bags that are different shapes and have special tiles that give you different bonuses. So let's click on a chest. These are just like random things at the end of killing the boss at the end there. Uh, also, this is our HP up here. Um, and if you die, you don't get any stuff. So it's pretty simple. Here's what we got. The treasure rewards were these things and we obtained all of these things. Right. 
You've unlocked a town. You can purchase a shopfront in towns to start selling your wares. To get more items, you can visit available dungeons. Visit a dungeon takes up to one day. So if you choose to sell, th okay, here we go. Tip, you can click on the date to see upcoming events and plan accordingly. Be aware of payment deadlines. So you can check, basically you have to, you have payments that are due at the end of every week. This is very, very important um, because like Reseteer, if you miss your payment, you're in trouble. So it's Tuesday. When you go to a dungeon, it takes a day. If you choose to be in your shop, it also takes a day. So we'll call this Catherine's shop. That sounds reasonable to me. Welcome to your first shop. Your first shop, how exciting. Right now there's only one button at the bottom menu, so maybe click it and furnish something. Okay, this is our shop and this is where we're gonna sell stuff. Uh, this will be unlocked later. It's like a garden plot where you can um, plant seeds to make <laughs> interesting things grow. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that, it's very funny. Right, so. We can buy a regular table or a regular bigger table. Um, let's buy the bigger table because it has more slots for less gold. So we'll buy one of these, put this one here, say okay. Now you have a fixture, now you can put things on it. Click on an empty spot on the table to select an item from your inventory to sell. Okay, um, can I buy another table first? Okay, we'll put that one there. And you can have tables all the way through. You don't need to have aisles because people will basically be passing by outside and they'll, I, I guess they sort of shout through the door, hi, I want this. So you don't need to actually have them coming in. So we'll say okay on this and we're gonna select things to sell. Now these are all of the items and the categories are important because later on there are special tables that give bonuses to weapons, armor, or other, uh, and other is miscellaneous type stuff. Right, so we're gonna try to sell the most expensive stuff we've got. We've got a mage hat. Okay, great, you placed an item, you're a pro now. Keep building tables and placing items and then click the finish button to begin a day of selling. Okay, let's just fill up our tables with stuff 36 for those. Yeah, we'll sell things. Now these green herbs, I don't, you can sell them if you need to, but they're also actually good for going on the journeys because you are to the dungeons because you can heal yourself with these things. Recover 15 HP. Right, so let's also put boots just for variety. I don't know if variety matters, but we're going to finish our setup. Okay, by clicking this button, you will not be able to edit your shop or add merchandise for today. Continue. So once you click this, you cannot add any more items. All right, you can do an action. You can now use the actions tab below to spend money and bring in a potential buyer. So this is like marketing stuff, sort of. So if you click the action, you can call a customer, say, hey, can you come here? And there they are. Do they have a good deal? Now you can also click people outside and say, hello. Okay. There are, it seems to be like there are many achievements in the game. You sold your first item. Go you. New fixtures will be available for purchase in setup mode and we get a reward of a hundred gold. Right, so these other people can be clicked, right? As they come on, you can also click the birds and they give you stuff. Um, sometimes they give you gold. If you click them too many times, they'll take away gold. There we go, minus one gold, minus three. That one is giving me plus some still. Are you new? Okay, so I'm just gonna click new people as they come on the screen. Okay, there's 12. Sometimes, now later on, the birds and, and tumbleweeds and stuff that come on the screen, um, they'll give you materials, which is really important. And it's, I feel like it's worth the negative gold just to make sure that we get materials as well. Okay, when you run out of items, you can click go to map at the bottom right to finish up early and head back to the map or stay and click on random birds. Yeah, there. that's where I found out about the birds. I'm gonna leave the birds alone for now. I think we have enough uh, gold. Uh, we've sold everything that we had, which uh, is, is, is good. <laughs> Look at this. Today's earnings, 140. Remaining debt, 100,000. <laughs> Next payment is due at the end of the week. So you gotta keep an eye on the calendar. Basically the payment is taken on Sunday. So we wanna make sure we have at least 100 gold um, there. So can we start the next day do we have okay we need to, we can upgrade our tables as well so if we click on the table okay we need to actually add stuff here first go here and then you can click on the table uh it's finished no 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 not ready 
Oh, aha, here we are. We have other stuff. Okay, let's, can I, here we go. You click on the table and you can upgrade your table, basically. Increase the cost by one gold of anything you put on that table. However, we may not actually want to upgrade our tables because there are, there are different tables. We've got armor table, increases armor price by 18%. That is huge. Um, and so then item table will increase miscellaneous, miscellaneous item prices by 12%. And I believe that this is um, the other items rather than Goal, uh, rather than weapons or armor. So this is nice stuff. This is great stuff, in fact. Um, they be, I love this. Miscellaneous items become magically more expensive when placed here. Uh, and indeed, isn't that true? Um, right. So we could go for another day. Do we have... Um, let's see, what do we have? We've got two more boots and one hat and five herbs. We could sell this stuff. Um, we should... You know what we should buy is... Uh, we should buy an armor table because I've, I've, as I've played along, there are less miscellaneous items than there are things like armor and weapons, which are more, more specialized. And having said that, it's very expensive. Uh, so this is going to hold two items and this is going to hold one item. Um, but I think it's still worth it just to get this, uh, armor table right there. Um, and we cannot afford another one, so we'll say, okay, let me just remove the item there and we'll choose the most expensive to go here. So we'll put the warrior helm there and another warrior helm there. What else can we sell? Um, let's just sell the boots. Why not? Um, because those are the most expensive things we can sell. We can't afford another table yet. So I think we should just finish uh, the setup. Right. Uh, yeah, we're good. Thanks. Now, at first I didn't understand, but you, do, you don't have to go to the, um, you don't have to go to the dungeon every day. Uh, if you have stuff to sell, you might as well sell it, uh, if it's the right category. Um, there's also things like, um, oh, get this again, nine gold there. You can also later craft items, put items together. Okay, we got new fixtures. Um, oh, customers with stars on their head are special characters. They can give tips, information, or even gifts if you become close enough. So there's a reliable blacksmith, a fine little shop you have here. We blacksmiths could use some good tools, so I'll make sure to check out your wares. You may want to try tougher dungeons soon. Click on the train button below to increase your stat points. All right. Uh, we have other blacksmiths. We'll now visit the shop. We've unlocked the training grounds. Fantastic. We'll get to that after the day is over. Keep on clicking. Oh, that tumbleweed was not happy with us. Totally worth. Oh. <laughs> so funny, these things. It's just goofy, I think. But it's really cute. It's a, it's a very cute little game. Okay. You can also scroll left and right to uh, a degree. But basically, by clicking the people, it makes them aware of your shop. It's like, aha, hello, you know, come and visit my shop sort of thing, as far as I understand it. Right, Strong Warrior, I'm looking forward to buying more things from your shop. Here's a bit of gold to help out. Thank you very much. I'll take it. Click all these. Nope, they're... <laughs> that was not great. Uh, right, we can end the day here. Go to map. Okay. Right, so here is our earnings, 168 for today, not bad. So let's go um, start the next day. And what I wanna do is train. So welcome to the training grounds. Here you can equip an armor piece and weapon to aid you in dungeons. Consuming an item to train may also give a chance of gaining additional stats. Uh, wow, so <laughs> I forgot we sold every single thing. So, um, we can use a bonus item uh, and level up just to get one level strength up. Um, and HP is a little bit up as well. Uh, let's see if we can go a second level. Why not? There we go. Now, I found that if you put very expensive stuff in here uh, from the other category, uh, it's actually, you do a lot better because uh, it gives you extra um, XP somehow. But this is all I've got at the moment, so this is what we're going to go with. So we've leveled up several times, which I think is going to be really good. Right, so let's go to the map, and we're going to go to 
uh, the dungeon again and start a dungeon free entry. Now later, you have to pay to get into the dungeons. Okay, let's get this. We know what this is. So now these things make more sense. We know that these are warrior helmets and we know what they're gonna do. So, um, you know, we can plan accordingly uh, in a way. Okay, let's put this there. Um, it's harder to Tetris than you think when you're, uh, oh God, come on, come on. Oh God. Oh, 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 okay. So that was not ideal, but that's okay. We, we did all right. We're not too bad. Okay. So we got, oh my God, so many items. Look at that. <laughs> right. So we unlocked the desert area. Fantastic. Um, right. So let's go back to the shop and then we'll, let's train up. And we have our um, we don't have any weapons, but we can put on some of these armor pieces, right? So we can choose any one of these items for defense. I don't know if they make a difference, but each of these has defense one. So we're going to go with one of them. I'm going to go with the cheapest probably because why not sell the more expensive ones, right? All right. And we, we need to sell stuff because we have nothing else. Now, the other thing is see how dirty these tablecloths are. We need to clean them. Oopsies. Uh, oh, well, let's let's put on items first. This is our armor table. I be, uh, Is that an armor table? I think it is. Yeah, armor table. Oh, we have new decorations. A calling window. You can call cust customers faster. That's one of the, uh, the marketing skills that you can use. And a swaying plant. Slightly makes customers buy things they don't need. That might be a good thing. Um, yeah, increases chance of customer purchasing by 10% and increases the type of items, class types by people buy from your shop by 8%. I don't, not quite sure what that means, but we'll sort it out. Right, so our most expensive armor we wanna put on this table. And um, okay, that's fine. Oh, we can upgrade the table, we might as well. Um, so here you can see the upgrades on each table. So if we choose to pay 50, gold we can increase the armor prices by an additional four percent let's go ahead and do that uh and then 70 okay we can't afford anything else oh we upgraded a fixture i got more money uh we don't have enough to buy another table so let's just yeah, upgrade it again um and each of these is oh ooh, the last one is seven percent that's tasty right um let's just fill out the tables with the rest of the stuff here I want to do a little bit of a variety of stuff so that we can appeal to, to more people. Uh, now the tables are looking very dirty and I, I think we're probably going to get to that in a second. Right. Cause I, I'm clicking it. <laughs> it's not cleaning. So, uh, let's finish. Right. Okay. Cell phase. Here we go. Cleanliness is next to shopliness. Oh no, your tables are getting dirty. Click a few times on a fixture to clean it. You can also polish from the action menu. So that's another marketing thing. Uh, you click the tables three times to, to get them. Now, this is not a feature that I'm terribly fond of, to be honest, it's a little bit too clicky for me, um, but, it, but it is here. Um, so actions, you can polish items. There we go. Clicking the polish item button from the action menu put, let's, puts you in polish mode. For some gold, click an item you want to shine to increase earnings. The shinier the item, the higher the bonus, right? So we can click these things and make them shiny. And it does seem to persist uh, through to the next day. Just make, make sure we click everybody. Okay, they're all looking at stuff. You sold 10 items. You can now expand your shop from the end of day menu. Great. Okay, traveling merchant. Um, it's nice to see someone else in the business. Here's a present, a new bag just for you. Try changing your bag on the dungeon selection screen. You never know what kinds of perks each might have. Okay, so... We, uh, other merchants mill now visit our shop. Reward, a rhombus bag acquired. All right, so let's click this tumbleweed and this one and this one, click them all. Okay, we're selling stuff. Arcane mage, I'm looking forward to buying more things from your shop. Here's a bit of gold to help out. Oh, thank you very much. All right, your friendship with mages increased. Fantastic. Click you, click you. Okay, and it looks like we're pretty much done for the day. Okay, so let's uh, finish. Yep. 
we had sold 247 uh, gold. Awesome. So we will, all right, payment is upcoming. So it's telling us, no, you cannot expand your shop. You're going to have to wait. Um, let's see. Do we have enough stuff to put out on the tables at all? We have, yeah, we have, a, we have a lot of items. We have a ton of items. Uh, we can even buy another um, fixture, another armor table. Let's buy this and shove it down here. Say okay. Okay, armor priced up. Okay, we will sell our most expensive items on the tables and then the cheaper ones can go here. Oopsies, go away there. I'm not gonna even bother upgrading these tables because they're just not worth it. These guys I might have for a longer amount of time. Um, do we wanna upgrade this table? 425, an additional 7%, why not? Okay, so I wish it did say somewhere where, uh, and this might be added, um, who knows, but uh, the total bonus would be great because right now we have 18 and four, that's 22, 26, uh, so 30, 33? 33, that sounds about right. All right, so basically we're gonna get plus 33% on this thing. Um, it's nice that it shows you a little star when the thing is upgraded fully, that's very handy. So I think we wanna upgrade this one as well. That one, and maybe one more time. Oh, we're very, just short. Which is okay too, because uh, we're gonna need to do the, the polish. Let's finish the setup. Right, yep, we'll be done here. Let's polish everything. Now, as your shop grows, you're gonna have to pay more for all the things like calling the customers. I don't know if I've ever done that. Have I, I forgot if I already did it or not. Okay, there we go. Impulse shopping for the win. They have really cute things that they say as well. There we go. All right, you sold 15 items, new fixtures. So as you sell more and more items, the game will reward you by giving you new opportunities, like to buy new fixtures and such. Oh, a shop. Yes, and it tells you what they're thinking about buying. The shiny bonus was six, and we're paying for the shiny bonus two. So it's very much worth it to, to shine things up. At least on, um, on items of some worth, you know. A monster dropped this while I was fighting. Maybe you can use it. Oh, ooh, we got a tough horn. Nice. You sold 10 items to warriors. Your friendship with warriors has increased. Right. So we, we uh, whoopsies. The tables are looking dreadful. So we're going to clean these. Again, it's it's a clicking thing. But there are um, items in the game to uh, to eliminate some annoyance there. Okay. Here we are. You've made a payment of a hundred dollar or a hundred gold in time for the deadline. Keep it up. So we did well. We did very well here. Um, I think we want to go to the world map because I don't think we're gonna have enough product. So let's just go there. And we have a new dungeon unlocked. So I think we should go to the desert area. You obtained a new bag. You can click on the current bags button to change what you bring into the dungeon. Okay, so we could go for the rhombus bag. This one has a special tile. Now, any item that's put over this blue tile, this is a multiply times two tile, any item put there, will you'll get two of them, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it's really actually quite cool. So let's show you, I wanna show you how this works in this dry desert area. Some have claimed persistent quicksand happenings. Not sure if true, but your items may sink to the ground if the rumors are to be believed. Now, this is very typical. Um, each uh, dungeon that I've seen has a specific uh, caveat, except for the forest, seems to, seems to have nothing uh, affecting it. But what this means is that the items that I put in here will literally fall to the bottom of the bag. I'll show you real quickly how that works. If I do this, it just falls like this. Okay, let's get this, this guy. Gotta be quick with these. Pardon me if I don't talk as much. And I'm really most interested in the new items that I can get, oh, whoopsies. New items that I can get here. There we go, and that's pretty much it. Um, this one, as you can see, is over the tile, and so that one is the one that's going to be doubled. Okay, the rest of these, I, there's not much else I can get there. We did survive easily through here. All right. What, ooh, what did we get? Those look like seeds. Uh-huh. Perfect. 
So we got some boots. We've got a cutting knife, green herb, an archer hat. You beat the desert area. Archers will now come visit your shop. Completing dungeons for the first time can unlock new customer types, and indeed they do. So let's go to the shop. And first of all, this is what I'd like to do first, is I go and I find a weapon. Any new weapons from the new area, we definitely want to use those. So this one has a defense too. We'll take the archer hat for us so that we're stronger and we can deal with the next dungeon um, more easily. All right, so now we want to remove this item. Okay, let me just dust everything. And we'll put on our archer hat. Oh, no, no, not, not there. Remove the item. We want to put it on our upgraded table here. So put this here. We'll put the mage hat there. Warrior helm. Yep, yep, yep. Fine, fine. Boots. Good. Fine. And this has is now open. See, there's no sign there anymore saying no entry. You can um, uh, plant your seeds. Now these guys need to be watered, so you click on them to water. You can do that either now or during shop mode. So can we buy anything? The slimming mirror is actually pretty, pretty fun later on. Um, I might get the swaying plant though. You know what? Yeah, let's buy the swaying plant. I want the swaying plant. Okay, that goes there. Say okay. Right, purchase rate boost, one skill applied. Okay, customer preference increase skill. Right, finish setup, let's go. It's kind of cool because there's all these like different modifiers and um, many, many different things to think about and worry about and be concerned about. Um, like I said, initially I thought it was quite a simple game, but it's, oh no, 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 no. I don't know if you saw that or not. This person with a star, sometimes they pass by. Oops, I forgot to polish everything. Um, but they pass by and they have something for you. Uh, and that person was offering me an item uh, that they found in the dungeon. So let's see if this person does anything. No, not yet. Okay. Yay, okay, there's a bird giving me a horn, which is cool. Apparently those birds are pretty wild and they... They go hunt down horned beasts, which is awesome. Go. There we go, another horn from this bird. Great. Okay. Very nice. Uh, very, pretty decent profit. Okay, so the next payment is 350 gold due at the end of the week. Uh, I'd love to expand my shop more so that I can start selling more stuff. Let's see how much stuff we have. We still have... Um, Wow, we don't actually have that much many products. We have five regular products. Okay, so let's go back to the shops. We have, oh, well, well, and we have one on the table as well. So we might as well. I forgot to dust things. Now crops take like two, two days to grow. So you'll need to um, make sure and keep track of that. Right, armor. Let's put these boots here and put those there. And we'll put these here and we'll get these cutting knives right there. And I'll, I will remember to polish them before I go and do anything else. Okay, let's finish. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Actions, polish, polish. There we go. Okay, we're done. Right. Let's click on everyone. It's a shopkeeper mind trick. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's fun. To buy or not to buy. Um, okay, you sold 25 items. New fixtures can now be purchased for your shop. Now, most of the time, I don't really use the calling customer one until I really have a lot of sh a lot of shelves um, and things. Right now, I'm saving enough money to expand the shop, basically. Oh, ooh. hey, monster dropped this while I was fighting. Maybe you can use it. We got common wool. Excellent. We are well on our way to getting cool stuff now. Okay. And you can click the birds as soon as their mood thing goes away. They don't like anything here. All right, traveling merchant, I've decided to set up a shop here. Click on the merchant button below to check out my stuff. Right. Uh, here's an early loyal customer present just for you. Also, you might notice some new options on the dungeon selection screen. All right. 
Okay, so we have, she gave us some muffin powder up, um, times four, which is very nice. Oh, hey, another horn from that bird. Oh, oh, wool. This person had wool walking. That's so, thank you very much. That was, oh, and a horn from this guy. Nice, the strong warrior gave me stuff. Fantastic. All right. Um, right, so 350 gold is due at the end of the week. I feel like we can expand our shop. I think we can afford it right now. Uh, so we'll do this and it takes one day to get it sorted. Now we do need to allocate a day to go to the dungeon <laughs> because uh, it's fairly important to do that. Uh, we have nothing left to sell basically. So we'll keep our rhombus bag because it has that, uh, that multiplier there. Okay, let's go here. Uh, Right. Um, we can also put an active buff on the muffin powder. It um, Blueberry muffins give extra flat damage. Fantastic. Attack up two, uh, which is very nice. But I'm going to leave them because we've already... Um, uh, we have already gone through the desert once and we know we can beat it just with our regular equipment. Now on our belt, we can add a green herb and it heals you a little bit. Start the dungeon and if I need it, I need to click this here. You can't just uh, sort of ignore it. Um, it really has to be clicked. Let's get this dagger. Let's get these. Oh. Oopsies. Oh. Can I go there? This one will take there. Oh, and I don't have any room for those hats either. Shoot. And there's not a lot of time to move stuff around, so... It's all good. We, we miss the hats, which is not great. Wow, look at all those mage hats. Holy fuzzy cats. All right, that's fine. You unlock the plains area. Hooray. Um, I want to go to the shop and sell stuff. Okay, so now we've expanded our shop and also we have got our farm. We've got a green herb. You harvest the green herb plus times one and you get bonus seeds. So let's just plant the next thing and we'll water it. Okay. We have 75 gold, so we actually don't have much to spend here. I think we're just going to continue to put stuff out. So let's find our armor. 38 for the mage hat. Looks great to me. Let's get one boots and one... Eh, 50. Well, 50 gold is actually very good. We should sell more knives. Okay, cool. And we will... Um, I think we're good on that. Let's finish and sell stuff for today and see what we can, what, what can happen for us. Now, polishing is more expensive. It's now five gold each time. So, you know, at this point, you may not want to, you know, spend money on very cheap items. Let's check and see um, what, what numbers we're going to get from this. It's kind of important to remember. So he's buying a sword. New bags can now be bought. Awesome. Oh, and we forgot to check the merchant. Whoops. I meant to check the merchant before we uh, started here. Barrage of customers. You've unlocked even better advertising options. Click advertise and to spend money and get a wave of customers. Okay, so that's down here. 200 gold though. I have never used it so far and it's because it seems so expensive. All right, did you know you can combine some ingredients with equipment on you find on your adventures? You can buy recipes from the merchant when she has them in stock or even find them around the world. Here's a simple one I know of. Click on the craft button in the bottom menu to try your hand at crafting. All right, we learned the recipe for wool boots. Let's cancel this. Got to click on these uh, things a little bit. We have only one thing left. One item left. Anybody giving me stuffs? No? Right. New person. Hi. And I completely forgot to look at <laughs> any of the amounts we got from the shine. Got a horn, though. That's nice. All right, we're going to finish this up. Okay. 330 today. Not bad. Next payment of 350 is due tomorrow. All right. 
But before we get to that, I would love to look, let's look at the merchant first. This is basically a shop where we can buy other stuff. Now there's a mini heart bag, which has some pretty neat things. Um, there's a leather handbag, messenger bag, each of which has different uh, tiles on there that you can uh, take advantage of. So, um, there's also green herbs. You can buy some of these. This is basically so you, you can take it to the dungeon yourself um, and heal yourself up. Uh, because it's much more expensive than we can even sell it in our shop. Now you also have things to improve the, uh, the look of your building. So we have red shingles, black shingles, peach tiles, enter dungeon at 10% off, dark gray tiles, same thing. These also have modifiers. Right now we're going to free dungeons, but later they're going to cost money. So that's basically what the merchant sells. Um, also the merchant later will sell uh, crafting recipes. Uh, speaking of crafting recipes, here we go. Wool boots. This is what we have. Again, it's very handily sorted by weapons, armor, and other. So if you go to all, we can now make boots. So this is this is very cool because this is kind of one of those investment decision things um, to make uh, your, your time better, but you have to invest very carefully because although we got this recipe for free, other recipes are going to be very, very expensive. Not only that, we don't have a reliable supply of these extra items like wool or horns or whatever. Right now we have four boots and two bits of wool and they cost one boot and one bit of wool to make. They also cost 80 gold to make but they can be sold for 195. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna craft two of these. And that's the max we can craft right now, because that's all we had for wool. Um, and we're going to take advantage of our tables um, by selling these wool boots, 195 gold a piece. As you can see, very, 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 very valuable. Oopsies, um, let's close this. Now, um, I think, okay, we also need to put the hat here. Wait, let's just look at all, all items. A cutting knife, yeah, we wanna do this. I'm gonna save my muffin powder and not sell that. But the other thing is we do want to sell things to all of the classes of people. So they will tell you, you know, this is common shoes, mage hats, uh, tools. So tools is probably gonna be like for the blacksmith, I think. Um, so anyway. So let's see, cutting knife, and we'll do uh, some more plain boots. And we'll clean the tables. Now, we could, could we buy another table? We might be able to buy another table. Oh, look, we can buy a weapon table. So we could buy a weapon table, which is quite big. Um, increases weapon prices by 15%. I think we want to get one. Holds three items, it's quite big. Shiny table increases all prices by 5%. So that's quite a low, amount. Um, I think I prefer the specialized tables, um, but again, it has to do with where you go, which dungeons you go to, because different dungeons have different ratios of weapons to armor to whatever. So it, it's a balancing, definitely a balancing game. So let's see, we can, can we upgrade the table to, should we risk it? Yeah, we might as well, I guess. Right. So we now, want to sell all this stuff. Let's water our little seeds there. Uh, oh, the other thing that I did not do is equip one of those sets of boots. I need to do that, but um, we need to make the money before Sunday. So I think, uh, let's finish, right. And we're going to polish everything, especially the fancy shiny things. Okay, cancel, click on everybody, including the bird. Ooh, a horn, thank you. I will take that. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Must resist sale. Why do I feel like impulse buying? They have a good deal? They probably do. I'm sure they must. Yeah, okay, here we're selling stuff finally. We've got more people. People are coming in. Okay, temptation be gone. Okay, strong warrior, looking forward to buying more things in our shop. Here are some horn seeds, I know, right? To help you out, this is fantastic. So we actually have gotten seeds to grow horns in the garden there, so that's gonna be fun. 
hey, your shop is doing great. Why not spruce it up by decorating? So this is what I was talking about with those roof tiles and things like that that we can buy from the merchant. Um, custom decor can give special bonuses and even have a theme listed in the description. Useful if you're going for a certain look. Right, so we have the decorating feature unlocked now. Okay, you sold 40 items. We have only one item in the shop left. Fantastic. I just want to click everybody, everything. We've got another star person coming by. What are they going to do? Are they going to give us anything? Okay. When you're fighting, are you dragging herbs on yourself to heal up? It really helps turn the tide in battle. Here, take these herb seeds. You can use the garden patch next door. Click on the empty spots to plant seeds during your setup phase. Remember to water the seedlings every day by clicking on them or they might wilt. Okay, we already talked about that. Of course, are you going to do anything clicking person? Nope. Okay. End of day. You made the payment of 350 in time for the deadline. Keep it up. 718. As you can see, those recipes to make the boots were absolutely fantastic. Um, so <laughs> this is very good. So the next payment is 350 gold next week. So let's go start the next day. I think we're at, are we out of stuff? Let's look. We have um, got three hats, one boots, two knives, so that's six altogether. Um, ooh, look what we can make. We can make one set of boots because we have one bit of wool, right? And I want to put this on my character right now. It's armor. Boots are armor, so they have defense three. Uh, these were two. Okay, so that's perfect. There, no upgraded weapons. We can't quite level up. Um, we could uh, buy another table. Let's plant some seeds. Horn seeds. <laughs> yes, we will plant horn seeds. I know that sounds crazy. Even the, the NPCs think it's crazy, but it's okay. It's going to be good. Right. We will water all of these guys. Um, so what do we have? Do we have armor? A lot of armor. We have four armor right now. I'm kind of wondering what I should buy. That's my thing in terms of tables. You know, should I buy more armor tables? Uh, and well, you know what I should buy? I know what I should buy. I should buy, let's move these. I think I need to sell one of these guys so that I can buy that armor table. Because if I buy the weapon table, 15%, um, which is gonna be nice. Oh, look, we can buy shelves. Oh, yes. Oh, this is good. So increases miscellaneous item prices by an additional, uh, by 24%. <laughs> That's good stuff. Um, wow, this is 15%. I think, oh, what do I buy? Do I have any miscellaneous items? Let's look at that first. I have absolutely nothing that I want to sell people. I mean, I could sell this one herb, but I don't think that's, um, that's going to be good. Okay, so let me furnish. Uh, we want to buy this weapon table and let's, let's sell this guy because we won't have enough room. We could actually store it. Now that's another option uh, that we can do. I think we'll just sell it for now because we're by, from this point on, we're really going to want to have, um, let's move it here because we can put an item here later. Uh, we're, we're basically going to want to buy specialized shelves from now on, as far as I can tell. Um, right, so we want to have armor or weapons over here to these knives, and we'll put in our special any armor on these bits here. Hat, mage hat, mage hat, and whatever. We don't actually have enough to open up for the day. Um, you know what? We won't open up for today. Uh, we just don't have enough stuff. So let's go to the map instead and go to the dungeon. Oh, we have a new spot that we can visit. Plains area. Now, um, at this point, I would like to just make a save. New save file. That's fine. Just in case I screw up the week. Um, so let's go here. Plains starter. Um, we have our rhombus bag. I, that's it's okay. It's fine. Now, again, this place is going to have a, a special... We got our green herb. Yes, our dungeon. These plains have such a lush vegetation. On the downside, mist can occasionally get in the way and obstruct your view of dropped items. Okay, so 
we kind of have to remember the shapes and know where we're going with this stuff. Okay, this is good. Kinda. Like, there's okay. Um, no oh god. I don't know what this is at all. No idea. We don't really want herbs. Can you turn, please? Nope. Oh god. This. Perfect. Okay, that's what I wanted. Good. Okay, click the chest for your reward. We got some stuff. Nice. What did we get here? We got mage hat. We got some simple tomes. Nice. We got a bunch of them. Green herbs, gold pouch, and plain boots. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, we beat the plains area and clerics will now come to our shop. Great. First of all, go to the training menu and uh, get a different book. Right. This is a weapon, uh, which does more damage. And our boots, I think we're good. Um, kind of wish it showed like how much of these guys we had, the current, the, the stats of them basically. All right, let's go and water all these. The, the watering seems to reset if you don't go and uh, live the day uh, because obviously you're going to another day. But let's see, furnish. We can't buy anything at the moment. So let's just make sure that we get better weapons on the table, literally. These are 65, let's remove this, put these on. Can we, do we have a better thing? Remove item, armor, no. Okay, that's what we've got. This is all the space we have, so I think we need to finish and get going. Okay. You know, I forgot to check if we have any wool. Uh, no, we don't. Okay, so let's click everybody. Oh, and I forgot to polish things. Actions, polish all the things. Oh, wool. I'll take the wool. Wool is good. Just gonna check. You just check it right out. Okay, uh, new recipes using horns can now be bought. Oh, fantastic. Shiny bonus 10. So we're getting some nice bonuses uh, from this. All right, I'm looking forward to buying more things. Here's some wool seeds to help you out. Yes, thank you, Arcane Mage. Awesome. Okay, I gotta remember that because there may be a way in the future to upgrade our relationship with mages. People have been clicked, right? I want the birds to drop fun stuff for me. This is the time of day. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but um, come on guys, buy some more stuff, please. Please buy. Did we bought a hat? Somebody bought a hat. Okay, so we made 361, which is not that great. Um, but... Uh, let's see what we can do in terms of shelving and stuff. Oh, and you know what? I, f I forgot to clean the tables. Not great. Let's go and plant our new seeds. Plant our, our wool seeds, which are super, super important. Um, and we'll plant our horn seeds as well. Green herb seeds and then green herb plus. Fantastic. Now let me just make sure I have enough... Uh, stuff to put on these tables. Tomes, yes. Okay, and these are going to be our armor tables. Let's see if we have enough to craft some boots. We have two wool and only one boots. All right, well, we're going to need more boots, clearly. Let's get our mage hat over here, and anything else? We want to have all. What is the highest? Probably, let's sell the cutting knife here as well. Let's clean up these tables. Seems like dust blows in during the day, so. All right, and I think I wanna upgrade this table. So we're gonna upgrade our table to basically as high as we can. So this is 15 plus five is 20, 25, and eight is 33. So that's gonna give us plus 33%, which is pretty awesome. Um, I, think, I think that's good for now. I think let's just do another day of selling and then we'll try to go back and find more stuff. Oh, I forgot to polish things. Let's polish all the things. 
Bird, hi there. All right, we've got people buying already. Fantastic. Very nice. Did I forget to buy something? Of course you did. Wool, free wool. I'll take your free wool. Nice. And your free horns, yes. Okay, keep on buying, folks. We're open for everyone. Oh, have you bought a new bag yet? All right. Some let you take... Oh, look at this. For example, the yellow warp tile sends an item straight to inventory, so you save space. Oh, I didn't realize that. Whoa, look at that. Pink and blue multiplayer tiles give you item duplicates. If you forget during battle, the marquee at the top will tell you what the tile uh, you're over does. Fantastic. Oh, that's very tasty. I did not realize that. Okay. Oh, looking at the boots. Yes, please take the boots. Very welcome to own boots. Pro tip, it never hurts to poke someone once in a while to get them a bit more interested in what you have to sell. That's, uh, yeah, kind of <laughs> what I'm doing. Different types of customers may also have their own preferences, but there's still a chance of them buying anything you have. All right, cool. Nice. Very, very nice. There's a bird here. Okay, that, that tumbleweed is tapped out at this point. <laughs> Noble Cleric, I'm looking forward to buying more things from your shop. Here's a bit of gold to help out. Nice. I'm going to clean up that table. Clean up all the tables, actually. Um, nice. Okay, so we made 658. That's pretty darn tasty, I would say. So, um, what should we do? Should we, um, we should go to the world map, I think. Or let's start the next day. Let's go and see. Can we buy a bag at the merchant's? Uh, what do we got? Leather handbag. Those warp tiles are all the way at the top. That's not great. But this one, this one might be really good. And horned boots recipe. Now this is something we definitely want to buy in the future because um, what's going to happen? So we have our wool boots. Right now we have two wool and we have one boots. We can get lots and lots of boots. I have experienced many boots, um, but the problem is getting the wool. So if you have the horned boots, and we now have several horns, we've got uh, 13 of them. If we're out of wool, then we can make the horned boots. Um, so that's definitely of huge benefit. I think, I wonder if, I, I have not checked out something. So if we get the messenger bag, I wonder if the warp tiles are one use only or if you can use them multiple times. Let's try this out. Let's try that out. Let's buy this thing, purchase it, exit. And, um, oh, we need to go to the map. Yes. Perfect. Now we'll go to the planes because that's where we were before. We're in the, we have the rhombus bag. Uh, we want to go to the messenger bag. Right. All right. So free entry. Yeah, sounds good. Right. We want to see if those. Okay. Okay. It uses them up basically. So it's not that great. Definitely not great. I will just send that over. Um, send the boots over. Send this over. I forgot what that is. No oh, boots. Um, dear God. <laughs> no. Okay. Right. So, I don't know which chest. It doesn't matter. They're all kind of random anyway. Right, so we got another book, which is great. Um, we did do pretty well. I, I don't know if it's better than the other one or not, but... Uh, when we did waste one of our warp tiles, I have to say four gold pouches, three plain boots, and two green herbs. I think. Okay. Ooh, mountain area has been unlocked. Very nice. So let's go back to this. These are warp tiles, and that is oh, gold fifty percent tile. Now, I don't know exactly what that does. Let's go and see if um, it is here in our items. Is there anything that's like extra expensive here? Nope, doesn't seem so. So now we have a green herb plus plus as well. All right, let's water all the plants before I forget to do that. 
And I want to see if I need to buy a shelf right now. Gold pouch. Hmm. Yeah, I could. I guess I could stand to buy a shelf. So let's go to furnish, and we have a useful shelf. Now this increases miscellaneous. Miscell oh my goodness, I am so tongue-tied. Uh, miscellaneous item prices. So let's put that in right here. Now shelves go up against the wall, which is extremely handy. Um, so we're gonna have this maybe right there. I'm putting it here for a very specific reason, um, because later I might want to put other things right there. So we're gonna say okay. And we only have five gold left, which is not not that great. Um, we won't even be able to put some shiny polish on, on all the things. Uh, and we cannot convert our boots either. That is also not available to us at the moment. But we do have lots and lots of, of items to put out here. Cutting knife. Um, oopsies. Wait, what happened to that gold pouch? Um, okay, I think we're gonna put these here. That's right. We're gonna put the gold pouches there on this shelf. And what else can we put out here? Should I sell boots? I don't really want to sell the boots. We can sell another gold pouch though. Okay, that's just fine. Uh, and we'll finish the setup. We are doing what? Six, uh, 650? Oh my god, I, I thought it was 350. Ew. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tongue-tied now. Oh my goodness. All right, let's finish this setup. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're good, thanks. I can polish one thing. Let's polish one of those because they're going to be the most expensive, I believe. Hey there. I don't know if I should click them like right in front of the shop or just when they come on the screen. I've been clicking them when they come on the screen, but maybe that's not the right time. Hey, I'll take your wool. Where is my list? There's another wool. Excellent can also polish some more items. Polish, polish, please, all the things. Click, click, all the peoples. Um, and let's call a customer. Yes, I've been polishing. Okay, you can store items, uh, shelving and things. All right. Oh, your friendship with merchants has increased. A new decoration has been unlocked, so we can have my dog painting unlocked. Let's call a customer in. Let's talk to the birds. Hey, birds. How you doing? And we are selling tons of stuff. If you see someone with a green arrow on their head, try clicking it. Could be a present and later go on that they might be close enough to go on quests for you. Also, eggs are delicious. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, so friendship with blacksmiths increased and the decoration is an egg painting. All right, we're gonna look at these paintings once we finish uh, this level or this uh, thing. Right, okay, so we earned 355, which is not that great, but I believe we can craft some boots now. And we certainly can. Look at all this wool we're harvesting from our farm. And I will plant the rest of the seeds that we have, because why not? Okay, cool. Right, let's craft some of these wool boots. Four of them we can make. Fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Uh, let's remove this item. Uh, let's get our wool boots here. Remove wool boots, please. And... Yeah, we don't actually have much else to sell. Oh, let me clean off these tables. I could go today to the dungeon. Oh my gosh, and I have to. Oh, no, we may not do well because <laughs> I forgot to. Um, I forgot stuff. All right, let's go to the map. We, we desperately need uh, new stuff. We cannot afford to fail a day. Uh, we only have two days to make the money. We need to make a lot of money right now. Uh, let's go and, uh, and go to the plains. We need 650 and I've overspent myself. I may have to go back and, and uh, if I, it doesn't work. Okay, let's let's do this. Start the dungeon. Oh, I should have uh, saved before I started. This will take that, please. Take this, please. Um, these I don't care about. I really do not care about the herbs at all. 
Okay, so we'll take you there. Okay, I want to take this one for sure. Put that one there. Perfect. Oh, wow, that was nice. Okay, cool. Oh, we got something. Seeds, probably. Green herb seeds, one only, but we got lots of boots. We got tomes, golden pouch, green herbs, right. And gold obtained, uh, 300 some odd gold. Though I don't know why we only got 126 here. It seems very odd. But anyway, okay, let's see if we can make the money we must make um, to survive this. Right, weapons. Yeah, let's get our weapons here. Armor. Yeah, let's sell these wool boots, um, if we can. I wonder if... I don't know if it'll work if I put the boots there, if they'll get... What is this price? 195 here, 195 here, 259 Okay, so these don't get a bonus from being there, so let's just remove this. These guys, 59 and this one is 73 So it definitely does not include... Um, like miscellaneous means the other stuff category. It does not allow for uh, these specific armor or weapons to be um, taken. All right, so let's finish this uh, and and pray that we get enough stuff. I'm gonna polish these items. All right, and call the customer. We'll just talk to these peeps. Hey guys. Okay, nice. Okay, can call another customer out. Okay, sold 60 items, more textures, or more fixtures, not textures. Okay, there we go. Okay, we can, oh, we have more than enough gold. No need to worry <laughs> or panic or whatever. We're okay now, we're doing good. Right. Can you please just buy the things? IMHO, since you have nine extra slots, you should save often. All right, we have discovered that. Thank you very much. All right, your friendship level has increased with blacksmiths. Perfect. Okay, so we made our payment and we are good. Wow. So we've done really well. I think what we should do is, um, kind of, see here's horns growing. <laughs> this is so bizarre. Anyway, um, yeah, we've gone over an hour right now. So you can see how addictive this game is, and it's it's a lot of fun. I have played a little bit further this than this prior to recording, and basically you level up the dungeons, you get up higher and better equipment, you can combine different things together, and there's all kinds of things that you can buy. Very, very expensive recipes, you can buy different things for your shop. Uh, all kinds of different bags are all added as you kind of go along and, and sort of level up in the system uh, of this game. So anyway, this is coming out on Steam on July 21st. Um, so please check it out. It's, it's a really cool game. The link is in the description below, and I hope you have enjoyed this playthrough. Thank you so very, very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.